I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard showed the world how to get infinite XP while using a mining laser so that she could rescue Liara to Sony. It wasn't all clear though as a Krogan Battlemaster sent by Saren and a ton of Geth invaded. Commander Cory Shepard took them down, and the Prothean expert Liara has joined her squad. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to our continuing playthrough of Mass Effect Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missile Dine Online with new episodes premiering every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you know when new episodes are going to be going live. And if you're looking for the best way to watch these, there's a playlist right in the upper right hand corner. You can click that playlist and all the videos are all in order, including there's trophy stuff in there, all that. That's that's probably the best way. Or you could be hanging out with the premieres and we could be live talking in the chat every time that we do it, which would be cool. So that's what we're doing. It is side quest central in this in today's episode. I just punched my mic in the face. Uh, sorry, Mike. Um, <laughs> But I, I do want to say these side quests aren't like normal side quests that you might find in some other games. The side quests in Mass Effect are as good, for the most part, at filling out the world as anything else. So we're going to zoom out first. We are, of course, on Therum. We talked to all of our crewmates after our mission on Therum uh, in the last episode. So that was something that I highly recommend doing. And now we get to show the scanning stuff here. So we found that there is a metallic asteroid here. Let's go ahead and travel to it. And we can just survey it. And we find that a heavy metal surveyed scans of this large asteroid field have revealed several deposits of platinum. Cool, good for us. So the scanning stuff is actually is worth doing. We have another planet here. Let's go ahead and travel to it. So fast now. This is Phaistos. We can't survey or do anything here. There is little of interest on this desolate world. But this is pretty much the bread and butter of how you find some of these side quests. And as and also you get you get stuff for doing this. Uh, this many human universities wish to perform archaeological excavations. Council law holds grave sites as sacrosanct, however, and the matter has been tied up in court. Closer investigation revealed these as millions of elaborate crypts a few meters below the surface, left by a long extinct spacefaring species called the Zyf. Hmm. I wonder if those are the ones that came before the Protheans. That would be interesting. And we have this planet here that we can check out real quick. Can't survey it, so goodbye. And we can check out Arcanus, and we can survey this one. And we find that it's got nitrogen. Cool, good for us. So we're gonna go ahead and there's another one. I believe it was up here somewhere. I know I saw one when we were looking at these yesterday. There it is, I knew it, okay. Let's go ahead to this asteroid, and of course, we're going to survey it. A medallion recovered. Scans of the asteroid field in the Gnosis system revealed some strange readings. Upon closer inspection, Navigator Presley discovered the remains of an abandoned Solarian fighter. The only thing of interest on board was a leak of one medallion. Interesting. Well, I think that's all we can do here. Why don't we exit out of the galaxy map for just a second? You'll see that we got a... XP, a codex entry, a bunch of credits. And this is actually one of the quests that we just got. There are several League of One medallions and a few ID tags scattered throughout these systems. The hunt must have been extensive and taken years. We get Le League medallions, Solarian ID tags. Then we have these valuable minerals that we're doing. We found one gas and one heavy metal so far, uh, which obviously is, is super easy to do. You're going to be doing this anyways because you're going to be scanning everything because this is a completionist run. We have the missing survey team. Uh, new, news vids indicate that a survey team in the Hades Gamma Cluster, which we got that from way back on the Citadel when we opened one of the um, one of the computers there. All right. I just wanted to show that we got that quest. And thus begins Commander Corey Shepard's exploration of the galaxy as she departs from Therum leaves the Gnosis system and heads to the Athens system that is here in the Artemis Tau cluster. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say any more in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, Meet me on the Citadel, so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge, on the Presidium. 
you might remember that I brought that up way back in the day, that she was going to be somebody that we wanted to talk to. And our galactic scanning begins with Proteus, where we discover a large amount of oxygen gas, and on Cersei, where she discovers a bunch of helium as well. Nausicaa, look at that! If anybody's ever seen Nausicaa, the, the Valley of the Wind, great movie. And on the planet Pharos, Commander Cory Shepard can scan it to find our first Turian insignia, this one marked with the Magna Colony, yet another collection quest for our commander. But we're going to leave the Artemis Tau cluster and we are going to begin a huge quest here by heading to the Voyager cluster and checking out the Amazon system. Commander, incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager Cluster. It's in the Voyager Cluster? That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. And that's Admiral Stephen Hackett. He'll Hopefully be giving now. Shepard most of her side quests. And upon arriving in the Amazon system, she headed to Synedma, where she was able to survey the planet to find a source of polonium. Immediately following, she went to the nearby planet of Sibin, where she surveyed that to find a Turian insignia, this time marked with the Quadum Outpost insignia. Finally, she headed to Tremar, where she was able to survey that for a source of nitrogen, and finally, she headed to the only place left, Age Binium, to find this dangerous Alliance probe. And for the first time, she has landed on an uncharted planet. Well, semi uncharted. But she will get the Medal of Exploration for landing on an uncharted planet, so it counts. Look at that absolute beautiful skybox. But Commander Corey Shepard didn't make this trip alone. No, she brought Erdnot Rex, the Krogan Battlemaster, and Tali Zora Naraya with her. Or not Rex needed some skill points, so we threw some into shotguns, getting that carnage ability. First, of course, unlocking that with assault rifles. Getting some into combat armor so that he has heavy armor. Some points into fitness, barrier, and stasis just to make sure that he can control the battlefield and survive a little bit better. This is a very strong squad for exploring the known galaxy. But before heading to find this probe, she explored this entire planet of Age Vinium, surveying as many minerals as she could find, including one with samarium and another that ended up being a magnesium deposit, all towards credit of this collection quest that she had. She climbed perilous mountain after perilous mountain for what felt like hours, and hours, and hours, and hours, and hours, and hours, until finally she found more minerals that she could then survey, including 
another large deposit of beryllium. Then it was time to prioritize finding this probe, which led her to the entrance of a mining facility with a bunch of boxes outside that definitely look like this might be a trap. So she got out of the Mako with her squad and she headed towards the entrance. The signal's coming from a mine? This smells. I agree. The probe did not crash. Someone moved it here. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. Right. And so they headed into the mines being careful and assuming that this is indeed an ambush, but by heading into the very back, they discovered it was. That, that was a detonator. Someone just screwed us. <coughs> Shepard, at last. Funny story about Alanos Halliot here. In the original game, he was a human, which makes no sense with the stuff that he talks about later. And here in the legendary edition, he was changed. His model was changed to a Turian which makes way more sense for the leader of the Terminus system who is racist against humans and wants to destroy them all. Totally makes sense. Good fix, Legendary Edition. You have me at a disadvantage. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? Probably an acclaimed leader, I'd say. In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of See, the verge. See, your kind. He was a human saying that before, and it made no sense. Good fix. Good fix, I say. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator, the one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed, failed. I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. Um, negotiate? No, no, no. You'll see me again, Halliot. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? We've got air and light and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. But she wasn't out of the woods yet. She has to disable the bomb before it goes off. So by manually disabling the three hard points, she was able to secure her safety and dismantle the bomb, letting her and her squad get out of these deadly, deadly mines. Unfortunately for her, the way back wasn't going to be so easy. When she gets to the top of these tunnels, she realizes she can't get through. She can't go back the way she came. Someone's blocked it off. So she has to use this new tunnel here that she hasn't used before. Lucky for her, there's a little bit of an upgrade kit right on the side that she can grab. But then she gets outside. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. It looks like they're stranded. However, she comes over on this hill, appears to find Alanos Halliot's camp and our Mako. So she thinks... This is a wonderful time to pull out the sniper rifle as an adept and maybe see what we can do here. Maybe we can take out his entire camp from a distance. No big deal. See if there's anybody here that looks like a sniper. We have some humans and Solarians. This guy looks like a good pick. Shot one. But she says, you know what? We're actually going to go down. We're going to grab our Mako and we're just going to absolutely obliterate these pirates. Teach them what it means to mess with a Spectre. Since, you know, XP counts either way. Alanos Halley is sitting right in front of us, and we blast him into orbit. But he's not dead, so I guess we have to go track him down and finish off the job. Which we do, no problem. He went through a lot of trouble to draw us here. 
pity that it ended like that for him. Now that we're above ground, we contact the Normandy whenever we're ready. But first, there are some things that we can grab on Age Finium that we did not grab before chasing after the probe. Like this crashed probe here that she's able to salvage and get some nice loot that she can then sell or turn into Omni Gel or even equip now that we're getting some levels on us. And that's not all. She also finds this charred remain of a corpse here, scavenger corpse, that has an artifact for us. This one containing another Turian insignia. And one last thing left here, this corpse Brushing away the carbonization on the door of the Contra Gravity Speeder, you see the Nizo brand name. Judging by the charring, the wreckage has been a here a while. The corpse is wearing the remains of an expensive suit and what appears to be vintage aviation. And that's it for her trip on Age Vinium here. She's completed everything she can in the Voyager Cluster. Next, she heads to the Armstrong Nebula. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. So she heads to the Vamshi system in the Armstrong Nebula. Maji is where she has to go, but first there's some scanning to be done on the planet of Pregel, where she can go ahead and survey that and find another Turian insignia, this time from the Betica colony. And back to Maji, where she's going to go and take down her first Geth outpost. Of course, first things first in this world, you gotta scan for minerals. A close proximity scan of the planet showed that there was some ancient debris near her, but she went and recovered and was able to find yet another Turian insignia, this time from the Adesin colony. She also discovered that there was an odd skull nearby, which couldn't be identified and must have been brought from somewhere else, and found a crash probe, which she was able to salvage for some good gear that she's going to turn into Omnigel or sell or even equip at this point probably pretty useful for her. She also discovered another mineral source, this time beryllium. And quite dangerous, another one of magnesium very close to Geth turrets. Lucky for her, the Mako is a machine better than all the rest. So, after taking down the turret, she's arrived at the first Geth outpost. Rockets flying, snipers everywhere, but she takes them all down just the same. Driving right into the middle of the outpost, she's going to be able to do some serious damage. But, unfortunately, it's raining Geth Colossus as, as one falls from the sky. She immediately starts taking it out and accidentally reverses a little bit too far. This Geth Colossus slowly being whittled down, dodging all of the bombs that are sent out. This right here is the first of four Geth Outposts. A ton of experience that you can get. And we're gonna pop out of the Mako and finish this baby on foot just because Three we can. Three more outposts left to clear out? This should be fun. Three more outposts await us in the Armstrong Nebula. Here's a map in case you are playing along. These are all the points of interest. And we're going to head to the Hong system to take down Geth Outpost number two. First, we're going to scan Traegir, where we're going to find the light metal lithium, and Matar, where we will find our first matriarch writings, the Matriarch Del Delanaga's writings. 
another collection quest. And Caspin, a pre-garden terrestrial world with conditions very, very uh, similar to those on prehistoric Earth. And because of its potential, it's illegal to land on this planet, which of course is exactly what Commander Corey Shepard did. How else is she going to be able to unlock the Medal of Exploration 2 trophy? Medal of Exploration 3 is what I just said. First, we need to go and survey as much as possible, grabbing magnesium there, seeing a little bit of a Geth outpost on our way. See if we can take them out from a distance. Commander Corey Shepard does just that with the cannon on the Mako. And survey, get another deposit of metal. And going and finishing off this get out post up close and personal. Let's do it. Or getting stuck on the side of a mountain. That works too. There we go. Back at the guest outpost, which is a little bit bigger than she expected when she pulled up. Sniper rifles, rockets, all of these coming at you. But it's not going to end. Once this first wave is destroyed, she's going to have to deal with just a little bit more. And goodbye, sniper. But it sounds like something else is coming. You can see on her map a giant red Geth drop ship has just approached. She actually must destroy this or else it's just going to keep dropping down Geth after Geth after Geth. Making progress, it's already dead, but she needs to focus on those ground units first, taking out as many as she can. There's a bunch of shock troopers that are closing in on the Mako. Lucky for us though, this thing is tanky, it is explosive. And then that's number two. Let's get the next. The Geth dropship is done. The second Geth outpost is finished. One more Geth remains. Nice job. But a quick scan showed that there was more nearby, including a deposit of gold and, strangely enough, another Geth outpost. This time it seems to be a little bit of a listening outpost. She's gonna go ahead and destroy these turrets that are guarding its location as she cruises in and discovers three Geth armatures in three Geth turrets. After taking down all the turrets and all but one armature, only one remains. She takes it down and proceeds to this odd device here, this Geth transmitter that she then deactivates. The Geth array is transmitting regular data using FTL comm buoys. It's not clear where the data is being directed nor the content of the signal. So she's going to turn it off. And we found another probe that she bypassed for more gear and yet another artifact that's going to count towards the collection quest. This time, an ID tag for Captain Vane. No indication of why it was hidden here whatsoever. Another map of Caspin, so that you know all of the points of interest in case you're playing along with Commander Corey Shepard here. And we're not done. We have yet another system to explore here, the Tereshkova system where we can scan and find this asteroid right next to us that has a League of One medallion. And on Patamalris, we can scan that for yet another mineral. Thagus, we can survey and find that it has mercury. And on Antibar, the place that we have to land, it's frigid, it's cold, and it's got very high speed surface winds. Uh-oh, this'll be fine. In true Commander Corey fashion, checking out the weather. But first things first, let's survey some mercury that we found and then proceed back into the Mako and continue finding all of the things that we can find, like yet another deposit of lithium. Nearby sensors show that there's yet another probe nearby that she can grab, getting some pretty good gear at this point after doing all of these side quests. Yet, there was something dangerous that also showed up on her sensors. It seems that there's yet another Geth outpost right in these mountain ridges here, where she discovers a Geth Colossus, a ton of Geth snipers, and rocket troopers. Commander Corey Shepard takes them all down without even batting an eye because the Mako is just so strong in the legendary edition of Mass Effect. Insanity, you wouldn't even know it with this thing. A sniper targeting us 
only the Geth Colossus left, and it goes down. Oh, one more rocket trooper. And another Geth dropship is coming in. Showing some disrespect to that Geth Colossus. Unfortunately, this Geth dropship cannot be destroyed, but we will see that there are some Geth Prime. The first time that we've seen a Geth Prime coming after us. These are big, big, big Geth. Lucky for us, though, we're safe in the Mako and can just chew through this Geth Prime. Commander Corey Shepard levels up in the process of taking down the third Geth Outpost. Just one outpost left. I'm going to miss slaughtering Geth like this. But of course, we're not done on this planet just yet. We need to survey for yet another collection quest. And we found a Prothean Ruin. Our first Prothean Ruin. And discovering this artifact, a Prothean Data Disk. It must have been dropped by one of the Thresher Ma's many victims. Apparently, there is a Thresher Ma nearby. Whenever there's a Thresher Ma... Commander Corey Shepard is there to deal with it, just like she was on a coos. And there it is, spawning in a Thresher Maw, one of the most dangerous enemies in the entire Mass Effect galaxy. But with the power of the Mako, she's able to take it down and loses no one in the process. You'll love to see it, but it looks like there is some wreckage over here. The vehicle and the human corpses show the telltale signs of Geth weapons. The Geth have been mangled by the Thresher Maw. Guess they got what was coming to them. And a map of all of the points of interest that you can find here on Antibar. But we're not done. We're going to head to the Gagarin system and survey the planet Junthor. When a sorry linguist finally managed a translation, the elaborate relief carving said merely, walk among these works and know our greatness. The crude scratches on base of the reverse side said, monsters from the id. Interesting. And we get Matriarch's writings, another one of Matriarch Deling Delinaga's. And on anti-rumor, we were able to survey for yet another mineral. And this one is very interesting. When the Krogan rebellions ended three millennia ago, the Turian chief of naval operations, a distinguished soldier named Makuri, declared his immediate retirement. He disappeared. It was only 200 years ago that his ship was found on that planet. And we are heading to Rayengri, the planet that we need to land on and take down the final Geth outpost. Making sure that the Geth no longer have a foothold in the Armstrong Nebula. Surveying yet another mineral, this time titanium, and bypassing one of these probes for yet another set of items. And more minerals were found, this time a rare one, and we discover an, a building. Seems to be totally fine, so she enters. You'd think Commander Corey Shepard would be used to traps by now, but not quite. Coming in, she discovers a bunch of weapon lockers and armor lockers as she opens to recover as many items as possible. Get that free XP and some credits and Omnigel if she needs it. Using these door controls, she notices that something just doesn't seem right. Hus! So many Hus! Swarm the squad upon entering this room. Luckily, a biotic can take care of these Hus, no problem. Not only that, but we have the power of Rex, who whiffs and completely misses attacking the Hus. The Hus taken down yet again. 51 experience. Shepard has to watch out behind her as more Hus approach. Taking another down. Only two are left. Make that one. One Hus is left, and it is looking very low on health. She's going to run over and punch it in the head, as you do with the Hus. So it seems like it wasn't quite an ambush. Not from Hus, anyways. Coming into the back of the room to explore a little bit further, she finds even more Hus. This time, four of them. This entire human base has been taken over by the Geth, and they've turned all of the humans that were here into Hus. Only one Hus remains after taking down the other three. She's going ahead and melee them and take it down with yet another melee pistol whip to the head. 
And upon trying to leave, Shepard realizes this is going to be harder than it seems as she takes a full rocket to the face from a Geth destroyer. There are two Geth destroyers in a room full of Geth. Using Tally's ability, she hacks one of the destroyers, and the other one, as it charges, gets thrown across the room by Almighty Co Commander Corey Shepard. Using the power of one Geth destroyer to take out all the others, as well as having it be destroyed by those, Commander Corey Shepard continues eliminating Geth Trooper after Geth Trooper. A Geth sniper was trying to hide out here. Only a couple enemies remain. Hiding behind one of these boxes is another Geth Trooper. She runs over. She's not worried. She has barrier. And she finishes off the Trooper with yet another pistol whip. She survived the ambush. Made it outside to find that there's a Geth dropship waiting for them. And she, with the power of the Mako, annihilates them all. Geth snipers. Shock troopers. It doesn't matter. The Mako has made quick work of all of them. I thought one of these outposts would be a major base of operations. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. The main Geth base. Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. Sensors indicate that we're not done here, though, as we discovered yet another artifact, this time a League of One medallion and a mineral that we can survey another source of polonium. And a leftover camp with a crate that we can pick up. And it seems that this place was abandoned abruptly some time ago. We also discover that it seems this place warned us the entire time that Geth were imminent. And here's a map of Ray and Gree as we head to Grism. Grism system. This system will only appear after you've destroyed all four. Right away, we scanned and found a rocky asteroid up here, which we can survey for yet more minerals. And we can survey Benda for a League of One medallion and Zahorix, which uh, apparently, according to a popular extranet meme, insists the entire planet is composed of dormant nanotechnology created millennia ago by a race even more advanced than the Prothean. But, of course, we can survey that and get our own beryllium on a nearby moon. And Solcrum. Solcrum is where we need to land. Apparently, there's some type of message coming from this, and it's not in any software coding language used by the Citadel space. This is the planet of the final Geth outpost. And naturally, a quick scan of the area shows that we can grab these Matriarch Della Naga's writings, but we're in too much of a rush, and darn it, we flipped the Mako. Anyways, we also found this probe that she was able to grab for some quick items, and of course, it found that there was a source of mineral that she could get this time, Magnesium, another light metal found. Proceeding, she discovered the final Geth outpost. This time, guarded by three Geth rocket troopers and a couple Geth colossus. She's able to take down one of the Geth colossus and gets yet another level, and the final one falls, giving her access to the very last Geth outpost in the Armstrong the Nebula. Pop in a Medi, she heads into the room. Here it is, the final fight. She opens this room and immediately sees that there's a few Geth destroyers. Fires around and is able to deal with this. Oh, seems like there's a Geth juggernaut. So, what do you do? The best way to deal with this room? Lure the Geth destroyers out towards us. Carnage, that one in the head and throw this one right out of Tally's way and finish it off while it's on the ground. Both Geth Destroyers taken down. Now we need to face this Geth Juggernaut by hacking it so that it can help us take down the rest of the Stalkers. And all that remains is this Geth Juggernaut. 
As the last geth falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, Aquarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling a mournful a cappella of worlds and innocence lost. The recorded song is dispatched to the geth's world behind the Perseus veil. And she heads to the back room where she opens up a secure crate, decrypting it. And even better than that, this geth terminal that she then opens... A number of encrypted Geth data files in the proper hands that could reveal much about the evolution of the Geth since their banishment. A perfect reward for Tally. And we're not done. We're going to grab those minerals. And grab this Thorium. And a map of the area with all points of interest. As we head back to the Normandy Shepherd, I and deliver to this you. to Tally. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years. But it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saturn and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. And that Thank puts you, an end to this little series of side quests. Shepherd, I'm glad you're here. Hmm, Tally, you seem chipper. Good to see you smiling again, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. Makes sense. But we have a lot more side quests that we go. can do here in the galaxy. So, later. let's get to it. Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack Thank you, out. Admiral Hackett. Good guy, Hackett. And we'll head to the Hawking Ada cluster and the Sentry system for yet more side quests. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Oh, of Shepherd. course they do. This is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance okay. officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Etta cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. I'm a biotic. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. And so she investigated what the Alliance, Alliance officers. What were Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. 
We're almost certain he had his followers killed him. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. I might be able to end this without violence. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is dangerous. I'll trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. I guess it's up to us. So, in the Century system here, we can scan this asteroid and immediately survey and find some Palladium. And then on Theropto, we can find another League of One medallion. Good for us. There's also another planet that we'll be able to scan really quickly, and that is Contra, which will give us a light metal cobalt. And one of the coolest planets, Clindagon here. Something kind of neat about it. There's a geological record suggests that the big crater is a result of a glancing blow by a mass accelerator round of unimaginable destructive power 30 million years ago. Anyways, we're heading to press off. And upon landing on Pressop, Commander Corey Shepard received the Medal of Exploration 3 trophy. And as soon as she started her journey, she was face to face with yet another Thresher Maw. This one ended up hitting us pretty hard and used sensory tentacles so that it could burrow underground and find where Commander Corey Shepard was driving the Mako at any time. However, it didn't matter. With her combined might, she was able to take it down and get a ton of experience awarded to her and her squad. And of course, sensors picked up a lot of things nearby, including a cluster of prefab utility shacks. Each one having something inside, including a decryption locker, so that she could get some new items. And yet another artifact that has a Turian insignia in it. And down below it, a wrecked mining vehicle that if we examine, debris is still sliding down the furrows left by its tires. So this just happened. And last but not least, a crashed probe. And right here is the biotic compound of Major Kyle. But in the distance, we see that there is a mineral, gold in fact, that we can survey. And with enough points invested in the charm, Commander Corey Shepard approached the entrance of this the compound. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. Luckily, we're charming. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll Lucky for there. us, we have a charm level that's high enough to get in here. And we're going to go see if we can talk to Major Kyle without getting into any fights, taking it out on anybody. I do recommend that you're at least charm six or higher, or intimidate six or higher, doesn't really matter. Uh, also, you will have a different experience if you are a ruthless shepherd but we did find that there are some crates here that we can grab major kyle himself i am major kyle i know why you've come we have no quarrel with you why can't you just leave us alone what happened to those other alliance officers the ones who came before me they wanted to take me away from here they wanted me to abandon this place turn my back on my family they spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. Uh. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father... My children will be helpless. Oh, no. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins, too? No. This... 
This was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I, I'm sorry. What a wonderful option with that charm. Or intimidate. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my I word. I believe you, Kyle. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. And we get your a ton of Paragon Point for this quest here. Up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. You should return to the Normandy and notify the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. We handled that perfectly. So you'll see that our Paragon Points are up there, and I wanted to go ahead and show you where my charm is at as well. I will surrender myself to the Alliance outside the compound gates in one hour. I'm going to go ahead and put, put away my gun. I don't want to I don't want to make anybody mad but we have other things to do here like more minerals this time uranium and suddenly a mercenary camp that was waiting for us it doesn't seem to have any reason to be here but we found it so we're gonna kill them all that's what happens when you attack me and they're all dead and there's nothing you can get here and a map for all the points of interest. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be That's honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Commander Corey Shepard absolutely did save a lot of lives. So that's why she went back to the compound and slaughtered them all because she needed the experience. Yeah, that happens. Anywho, heading to the Argus Rose cluster. And the Phoenix system is the first place that we're going to check out. We'll get this asteroid here where we can find yet another Prothean data disk. And here on Patashi, we were able to get a survey. And on Vebinok, we will get a survey as well for the Cobalt. And heading to the Hydra system in the Argus Rogue Cluster, we're going to check out the rest of the places that we can, like Canrum here. It is the site of the Warlord Shiger's defeat by Turian peacekeeping forces during the Krogan Rebellions. She was a female warlord, one of the few remaining fertile females at that. When Shiger's death was announced, vengeful male Krogan admirers near and far swore blood oaths against the participating Turian crews. In the end, several thousand of the Turian participants were killed, which is why when you survey this planet, you will get a Turian insignia from the Parthia colony. Anyways, on Met Ghosts here. Message coming in. Patching it through. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Clinical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Seems like. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Another distress signal. This time I'm positive that it's not a trap. So we'll head to the planet of Metgos, see if we can find anything to help these people out. Got to make sure we stick the landing first. And Commander Corey Shepard is going to scan as much minerals as possible. It looks like the signal's coming from that wreckage. It is a trap! What did I tell you? Geth will surround Commander Corey Shepard and crew. Try to take them out, but the Mako is able to destroy them all. Bunch of Geth armatures. Easy peasy. They tricked us. They almost had us. But we're too good for them. So let's get another heavy metal. Mercury. Love it. And yet another thing of items that we can get from this 
Look at, we're cruising here. And another artifact, this time the Turian insignia from the Gothis colony. And a map for those of you interested in finding some points. Anyways, we're going to head to the Farinata system in the Hades Gamma cluster. Gamma? Gamma? What the hell am I saying Gamma for? Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies. Their freighter sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. Hmm. What kind of resistance should I expect? The biotics were seen loading equipment into the freighter. Expect traps and combat drones. Nothing you can't have. Literally, we're not going to find traps or combat drones in this mission at all. What are the biotics asking it's for? Just biotics. They're L2 biotics, and most of them are suffering major side effects from the implants. The subcommittee denied a request for reparations to all L2 biotics. Apparently, they'd like the chairman to reconsider. What's the priority on saving the chairman? Saving him would be my preference, but we must make it clear that these tactics don't work, Commander. Your top priority is to neutralize the biotics. Okay, you can count on me. Understood, Admiral. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. And exploring the Farinata system, we can find a rocky asteroid here that we can survey for, of course, more metal. This time, magnesium. And on Junto Tomo? Junta John Juntama 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 A Prothean data disc has been recovered yet again another one And on Nepnu here we can find another metal And finally the MSV Ontario This is the ship that was taken over the Chairman Burn ship L2 Biotics have taken it over this can be an incredibly hard mission, my friends. So I recommend bringing your best squad, trying to take them out before they take you out. Popping these, you only have three minutes before they kill the hostage. Grenades are super useful at this point because you get those little choke points and you can actually take care of some of these biotics before they ever have the chance to hit you. Right there, we can pop another one. We're almost down. Only one biotic is in our way, and he is down. A minute and 20 seconds left to rescue Chairman Burns before they decide to execute him right on this door on your left. We can go and rescue him. See how it is? You write letters, and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You need a charm of six or an intimidate of five to pull this off. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A fifth fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. You're welcome, everybody. We get eight Paragon points for solving that peacefully. Commander Corey Shepard finished looting the ship, finding a weapons locker in the storage area, and another crate in the cockpit. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, You're welcome. Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. 
Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. They love us. They really love us. So I want to go ahead and show you all of the progress that we've made so far in these side quests. This is a ton of footage uh, that we've kind of condensed all into one video. But this is, uh, we're looking at a few hours, that's for sure, of footage here. Uh, but we finished a bunch of these uh, assignments that we could have done, including Tally's Pilgrimage, which is huge. But we're not done yet. We need to head to the Attican Beta Cluster for a really, really cool trick that I'm going to show you guys here. And something that I am going to exploit because it's useful for showing you Message coming the in. most things I can. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go ground side and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Well, works for me, but we need to scan some of these systems first. And on this one, we can find a medallion from the League of One. And on Zatoris here, we can find a heavy metal. And we are in the Hercules system. We want to head to Elatania. We will be back here. Also, something cool about this place is there are creatures in the air, and uh, they cause anaphylactic shock when inhaled by non-native life, but they are needed for the natives to actually survive. Kind of neat. So let's go ahead and land on this garden paradise that we can't go outside in because the it's it's dangerous and the bacteria in the air will do anyways we can find this dr downed probe this is the surveillance drone but where's the data module? looks like some of these monkey like creatures stole it yes we're doing this the hard way now i highly recommend saving surveying minerals of course but making sure that you do not accidentally kill any of these monkey like creatures when you find them Super, super important. Don't kill any. Trust me. Don't do it. So Shepard proceeded to check all of the monkeys to see if they had the module, and they didn't. But there was a very strong signal coming from a nearby mine. And so she arrived at the entrance of the mine, found a ton of monkeys outside. Potentially, one of them must have headed inside with the module. So she went in after it. Upon getting inside, she discovered a ton of decryption chests and crates and lockers that she could get things from. And she continued to the very back of the mine where there were two tunnels. She chose the one on the left-hand side to go down first. And unfortunately for her, the two monkeys inside didn't have the module that she needed. But she was able to find a nice locked crate. So she headed back out, this time using the right-hand tunnel, and this is exactly what she needed. Because in this room, the monkey at the far end has her module. He dropped the data. And also six paragon points, so she saves the game. Module. And then she loads it, and then she does the paragon infinite exploit. By reloading the save and spamming the monkey, she is able to max out her paragon points, and that will get her the trophy Principled. And now, just like that, I can show you all of the charm options that we'll have in this game. I had to cheat, but it, I, it, I had to. And she found another crate that she can grab. But upon trying to leave the mines, Tally points out that there's something hostile going on. And when we leave, it's Geth. Geth are swarming all over the monkey mines looking for us. Two destroyers, some shock troopers, and a sniper await us. We were able to AI hack one of the destroyers and destroy the other one with biotics, engineering, and Rex pure muscles. The other one able to take down some shock troopers and injure itself in the process so that all it takes is one pistol shot to put it down. And we have just one left. This little Geth sniper that we can take down before he kills us. And we have the data, data module. The Geth apparently followed us down here. And we didn't kill any monkeys, which is great for us. But we're not done on Elantania just yet. We have more things that we can grab before we leave here. But remember, we are going to be coming back to this planet afterwards when we get a certain thing from a side quest reward on the Citadel. Right there, we got more items and surveyed yet another mineral. This time, Palladium. And that's it for Elantania for now. We can head back to the Normandy. 
my friends. That is a ton of side quests all in one episode. And I need a beer after that episode. Uh, that took me like two solid days of editing, but we did it. Every, almost uh, so many side quests are now done. We took about six hours of footage and turned it into just an hour of footage. And you can see that we did all of these. You can see the progress that we've done towards all of these collection quests. We have a couple big uh, side quests left, but other than that, uh, we've made huge progress in the side stories of these games. Uh, these are all of the side quests that we finished in this video. That is quite a bit. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you know when we're premiering new episodes. This one was a little bit late because of with this video. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your support on this series so far. It means the world. Uh, and a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every day. There's an asterisk there uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. And remember, never give up, never surrender to, to the side quest. Don't do it.